today we're going to be talking about elapsed time. Elapsed time is when you tell the difference between one time and another. And I have a couple strategies that will really help us. The first one we're going to talk about today, I call mountains, hills, and bumps. And basically, you use an open number line. So you'd start with a line. And a mountain would be like an hour. A hill could be like adding, let's say, 30 minutes. And a bump could be like adding one minute or five minutes, a smaller amount of time. Okay, so we're going to look at this and use a mountain, hill, and a bump to help us find the amount of time that has elapsed. So we're going to start with an example of um, you're going to the park, okay? And you arrive at the park, and I'm going to write this down so we have this. You arrive at 9.15. And let's say you're home at 10.40. Okay, how much time did you spend at the park? So we can use mountains, hills, and bumps to help us with this. So what I would do is I would start by drawing a number line. And then I would start with the time. So I'm going to start with 9.15 here. Okay, so I know if I add a mountain, that's like hours. So can I add a mountain and do 9.15 to 10.15? Would that still work? It would. So I'm going to add a mountain. And this is going to be one hour. And I'm using HR to stand for hour. So when I go one hour, I'm going to label this down here. So this is going to be 10.15. Okay, so now... I need to go from 10.15, I have to get to 10.40. Well, that math is kind of hard for me. So I'm gonna do a small hill because I know that if I add 15 minutes from 10.15, I'll get to 10.30. So I did a mountain to add an hour. So I went from 9.15 to 10.15. Then I did a hill to get from 10.15 to 10.30. And now I need to get from 10.30 to 10.40. I could almost do another little hill here. This one could be a little smaller. And it's a 10-minute hill, and I'm at 10.40. Okay, now to find out how much time has elapsed, I actually have to do some math, and I have to add up how much time we're inside my mountains, hills, and bumps. So I'm going to add this up. This is one hour, and then I have to add 15 plus 10. So this is going to be, it's going to be, I was at the park for one hour, and then if I do 15 plus 10, I get 25. So I was at the park for one hour and 25 minutes. Okay, let's try another example. This time, let's say you're going swimming because it's a really nice day outside. The sun is shining. You're going to go swimming at 1 o'clock. And let's say you arrive home at 3.45. And we want to know how long you went swimming. So we're going to start again with an open number line. Okay. And we're going to start with the time that you started swimming. So we're going to put one o'clock on here. Now, when I see this, a one o'clock to three o'clock, I think I can add two mountains because there's two hours that go by. So I'll do one o'clock to three o'clock. That's one mountain, and that gets me to two o'clock. Another mountain gets me to three o'clock. And then it looks like I will come home at 345. So I have to go from three o'clock to 345. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a 30 minute hill, and that gets me to 330. And then I can do another small hill and get to 3.45. And a 15 minute hill would get me to 3.45. So in order to find out how long I went swimming, I'm going to add up the times inside these mountains and these hills. I don't have any bumps in this one. So one hour plus one hour is two hours. And then inside my hills, I'm gonna add 30 minutes plus 15 minutes. I'm gonna get two hours, 45 minutes. 
So I got to swim for a long time, two hours and 45 minutes. Okay, to practice some elapsed time, I want you to find your student workbook. We're in volume one. And I want you to turn to page 10. On page 10, there is a problem. It says, Sheena's math class begins at 9.55 a.m. and ends at 11.10. She started to figure out how long the class lasted and she used a number line. It says, use Sheena's number line to complete the problem below. Tell the length of time in hours and minutes. So I want you to practice this. See if you can use her number line to figure out how long it was, how many hours and how many minutes. You may want to draw your own number line below because you might do the, her, the math a little bit differently. Okay, we will be working on elapsed time in class during our small groups today. So we'll get lots of practice with this.